I'm going to be showing y'all how I um, straighten my hair from wet to straight or dry or whatever you call it. So, yeah, plus I'm getting a lot of questions on my updated hair routine and stuff like that. So, yeah. If you guys are wondering why I keep my oils in a Ziploc bag, it's because I had my oils like not in a Ziploc bag, so they spilled. So, yeah, this is to keep them, you know, away from my other products and not spill and stuff. So y'all, I just wanted to say, cause this is gonna be a voiceover, you probably noticed that by now. But, um, do not do this on any like random kind of strainer, if that makes sense. Um, you have to do this on a strainer that does wet to dry. So if you're interested, um, this is um, Remington. Remington has a lot, a lot of strainers that goes to wet too straight please do not do this on a random strainer please okay like the the ones that doesn't say wet to straight or wet to dry or whatever please do this on a strainer that does wet to straight wet to dry i would recommend you to get a remington strainer okay do this at your own risk i am not a professional hairstylist Also, I forgot to mention, <laughs> um, should being at the fact that I'm sitting in front of my AC, my hair is drying as well. Like my hair dries really, really fast. So some parts are going to be damp. Some parts aren't going to be like wet, wet. Okay. So yeah, I just wanted to add this tip in here just in case people was thinking like I'm like, I'm frying my hair. I'm not. Okay. So yeah. And the reason why I go over it a few times is to like, you know, heat up the hair because it's like wet. So just like now I'm just like trying to straighten my hair as slow as possible. When you're doing this, you want to do this slow because if you go through it fast, it's not going to get like dry and straight.
so in this clip right here I'm showing y'all that my hair is completely dry it's about 85 no not 85 95 percent dry so yeah it got a lot of volume it's not really shiny silky and all of that so in the next few clips you're gonna see me re-straightening like the front part area of my hair because it's like still like you know puffy right there so I like to go over that and like make sure it's like silky straight and yeah like basically like the front of my roots or something I don't know edges or whatever I don't know but yeah <laughs> y'all hear me if, not hear me if y'all see me with my mouth open and stuff like it looks like I'm talking I'm not I'm actually singing so <laughs> yeah So in this next clip, you're going to see me add this oil. I like to add this oil after when I'm done straightening my hair because it leaves my hair shiny and soft and silky and yeah, because I get a lot of questions like, like I get compliments like, oh, Shakira, your hair is so silky, it's so straight and it's so shiny. What you use? Girl, I use that. Okay, them two oils that I showed y'all by Morocco or something, that coconut oil and that one I just showed you in the camera. Those two, listen, if you use those two, you will thank me later, okay? They are so good and I absolutely love, love, love those products. So I would highly, highly recommend y'all to use it if you want some nice, silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. And I would recommend y'all to use it towards like um mid shaft to ends you feel me like don't add it onto your roots because then your roots is gonna get like oily and weighed down like that's the number one thing i don't like i don't like my hair to be weighed down so yeah yeah and you see me doing a savage here <laughs> pay me no mind obviously i'm feeling myself because you know my hair is done you know i'm pretty sure i'm not the only female that does that you feel me <laughs> so guys so this concludes of my dry wet to dry hair you feel me so yeah, again, like I said in the video, probably in the beginning, um, I wouldn't recommend people to do this on a random straightener, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, try it on a Remington wet to straight. I wouldn't recommend everybody to do this because I am not a licensed cosmetologist, okay? So just make sure you guys put on your heat protectant, oil down your hair, you feel me? Okay, so yeah, so yeah. Somebody actually wanted to see my updated um what was it my updated hair routine it ain't really nothing special for me i just chose to do this video because i was like hey why not because i never did my hair wet to dry before so it came out really good it's, it got a lot of volume i like that so it's like okay so you feel me so it's really silky and it's straight and everybody been asking me how do i get my hair so straight and silky these are the two key products okay i would recommend y'all to add these products when your hair is wet after when you blow dry add a little bit don't add a lot y'all because these two go a long way you need just maybe a dime size amount and this ain't sponsored by the way okay but they should sponsor me okay because i love these products so anyway <laughs> every time i add these two um in my um hair i get a lot of compliments so yeah so you add this when your hair is wet um add it a little bit when you're blow drying so you just add a little by little you know what i'm saying you don't want to add a lot and weigh your hair down so yeah so you air you add it when you blow dry you add it when you're straining before you're straining
and then after your straightening so that's what i do to get my results my hair results to look like this okay so it looks crazy right now because i'm not going anywhere it's nine o'clock at night i'm not going anywhere so i'm gonna just wrap this up and um wear a uh, silk um what is it a silk scarf that's for better results too okay so it'll leave your hair like really really flat so yeah so i'm just gonna wrap this up and put it up you feel me so if you like my updated hair routine video make sure you thumbs it up comment down below what you think in the comment section down below okay um and subscribe if you're new okay and i'll see y'all on my next video <laughs> peace